Hey everyone, Ryzen here. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Grandia. Well, equipment setup basically the same for Justin. Uh, I'm using the Wobbly Sword for a reason. Uh, Sue's got basically the same setup. Again, I'm using the Mithril Hammer for a reason because I want to work on maces for Sue and swords for Justin. Fina has her default equipment. Uh, she also comes with a pairing knife, which we could have bought, but obviously she comes with it, so there's no need to. Uh, she does come with these leather greaves. They're quite terrible, so go ahead and give her a, the air sneakers. Uh, the one extra defense is not worth the severe loss of movement. And her jade charm is good enough. It's an accessory for now, so... That'll work. Level-wise, or level goal-wise for this area, basically, Justin Sword's level 6. Sue Mace is level 7. That's going to be difficult. Uh, it's not impossible, but... We may need to do a little bit of level grinding for that. And fire level 4, which is critically important. I'm not even going to work on her weapons at all for Fina. She comes with some items. Whatever, I don't remember. I guess I should check. Yeah, there you go. Paralysis ointment. Some, uh, mainly the first day that's really important. Oh yeah, since she's the first character that has magic, uh, every time you... Well, how do I say this? Is it moves? Yeah. Every time you level up ma uh, magic, you get 2 MP per level. Uh, that is distributed randomly among level 1, level 2, and level 3 magic. And you also get 1 wit. A uh, wit affects how fast your uh, IP gauge fills up. I'll go over magic MP levels in a second here. I don't think we're going to get through the ghost ship today because I'm not going to go very long. And I think it'll take... We'll see if I can get to the boss, but I don't think I'm going to fight the boss today. I don't think I'm going to edit out very many battles. That's what happens when you're gone all day. <laughs> The ghost ship isn't very long, but... Yeah, seriously. Stay focused, Justin. Stay focused. If you try to go in the door, you can't, by the way. Watch your feet. Justin, you pervert. Of course. Doesn't that happen in FF9? Uh whatever. Let's just go. It was funny the first time. Admittedly, but there's a save point here, which ooh, creepy. I just figured I'd save off screen. It takes a while to save in this game when you have five files. Uh, I should just fill the disk go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that door is locked. By the way, there should be some herbs and another 30g just lying around here. Yeah, right here. All right, these are ghost toids. Yes, they're very pathetic enemies. They are weak to fire, uh, so that helps. But they have very low stats all around. Uh, they are pretty fast, though. They have a hundred agility, and they have a cancel attack and shout, and they can warp too. They can like warp around the battlefield. But other than that, they're pretty weak enemies. So, uh, top priority is going to be using burn. So, magic. A burn is a level 1 magic spell. Uh, it takes 1 MP, but that is 1 magic level 1 MP. There's also magic level 2 MP and magic level 3 MP. Uh, in general, when you learn 
uh, when you level up magic, uh, you get two MP distributed randomly amongst these three levels, with priority given to level one, then level two, then level three. In other words, you're more likely to get level one MP than you are level two MP, more likely to get level two MP than you are level three MP. Using a fire spell, we'll level up our fire magic a little bit. I don't so much care about the damage from the fire spell, although it is very, very good. I didn't even one shot him, okay. Burn is a tiny AoE. I wouldn't rely on it for an AoE. The reason why you want level four is not just because it's very good against the boss, the spell you learn at fire level four, but you need fire level four to make effective uh, leveling up of the fire magic because we get the burn flame spell, which is a much wider AoE. So that's, that's top priority. Before we fall in that hole, let's go ahead and level up our abilities here. Now you'll notice that all our abilities, our, our skills and magic, uh, both have stars on them. What the stars mean is how fast that ability charges. How do you level up those stars? Oh, we hit both of them, okay. Well, you level up whatever the components of that ability are. For V-Slash, that means leveling up any of Justin's weapons. I used the two criticals there to maximize my turns to get experience for Justin and Sue. So, To level up fire magic or fire spells to make them cast faster you level up fire magic there are combined spells there are skills that take both weapon skills and magic and those you have to level up both in order to make the skills go faster uh, technically just using the skill over and over again will eventually make it go faster but there are more efficient ways of doing so for example using a freeze spell which is a com combination spell it gives very little experience I forget what it is a combination of I think wind and water but using a wind spell and then a water spell will give you more overall experience individually if that makes sense weapon combined skills actually work differently oddly enough uh, they do far far better for uh, leveling up everything involved, which is very, very strange. But that's the way it works. We got uh, another Ghostoid here. I should make it clear that it's actually the Wit stat that affects the... the, um... speed at which enemies take their turn, and you take your turn. That's why those Ghostoids move quite a bit faster than you on the turn bar. They have 45 Wit. The 100 Agility me is how fast they run on the battlefield so in both ways they are quite fast whether it be movement speed or although I think they just kind of teleport all the time but but anyway they, they also have actual fast turn speed so we got new enemies here these are sea jellies I believe let's see here yeah, anything interesting about them I don't think so no, not really. They're weak to fire. Oh, they can paralyze you with electric shock. So if you see electric shock coming, I would kill them immediately uh, because that can be annoying. You don't want to be electrically shocked. Oh, I should have gone back to... I forgot to do this, but... Normally what I do after taking out those gas uh, ghostoids on the first room there is I go back to the save point and heal up, but I forgot to do that. Enemies do not respawn if you reset the room. They only respawn if you reset the entire area, which is weird, but it works. Let's see, so we've got a little bit more. I don't want to use more than one spell per battle. 
That would have given me two more castings of it, basically, so. But it's not a big deal, because I'll likely have to do some grinding anyway. Alright, we won! There's going to be 30G and 30G lying around here. Still one more enemy to fight, I think. Yeah, right here. And right here. So we actually need to climb up to the treasure room. If I can get on here. Sometimes, for some reason, it's really annoying to do. I don't know why. There's another 30G. Right here. Oh, no, no, not right there. It's right there in the center there. Goes to the center door. Because I think there's more money right here, yes. Another 30G. We're gonna take the southern stairs this time and then I'll probably... Uh oh! I didn't want to fall down. That happens all the time to me, but you just climb back up. No big deal. Oh, meat! Look out, Justin! Why? It's just meat. I mean, unless you get food poisoning from it, I mean, that could be pretty bad. Oh! Yeah, yeah, it was a trap. <laughs> okay. So we'll stop here, and next time we'll try to make it to the save point. Should be able to do that. Yeah. yeah so this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.